Hello everyone. Um, I'm gonna, I need to, I'm a week out um, from the inauguration. It's been a week since the, uh, the big uh, dust up, um, the, the insurrection at the Capitol, the attempted insurrection at the Capitol. In fact, I'd actually even say successful in, in insurrection, but I'm gonna get to that. So what happened? Uh, so, so I'm gonna note that yes, I defended violence in BLM protests. And in fact, I will. F I'm gonna to, to validate a level of violence here. To these people, they have been told repeatedly about the uh, the crimes that have been committed against them. And to that level, the, the violence they are committing seems justified. Uh, this does not just. Uh, just like it doesn't just uh, just like BLM protesters shouldn't be immunized from the consequences of their actions. Uh, in fact, uh, going going to a big part of civil disobedience is intentionally breaking the law. So you and then facing the courts and making the courts um, face the you know you know face these questions. Uh, they're you know. Facing consequences is a part of protest. It, it, uh, that's why uh, protesters will be ready. They will have someone to, to, to bail them out of jail. Um, so I believe those capital rioters that can be uh, identified as committing violent acts should be should face the full forces of the law, um, and should have the justice system address their, you, you know. Uh, uh, rebu rebuke or, or justify uh, their violence um, uh, and, and be, be given the statement of what is uh, you know if you went to those to, to that pro to that protest and didn't expect to be arrested or charged you're you're showing how privileged you are because if you went on a BLM protest, that was never something you should assume. Now, uh, I'll also, I'm also going to very clearly state, uh, having watched those videos, knowing that someone was trampled to death because they couldn't, you know, because they couldn't get out of, they, they, they tripped and, and lost their way under the, the weight of the mob. You know, once they, once they went down, the mob, it was like a, it was like that stampede in the Lion King. Nothing was going to stop them. They're killing it. Any, they will trample anyone under the feet. They're going to keep going. Nothing's stopping them. Um, so there were definitely a ton of people in that, uh, in that mob who were just kind of moving with the mob. Um, uh, that's, that's definitely a problem. Um, that's why I very clearly specified those who cannot be identified as committing, uh, as committing crimes should be punished. Um, I, I really feel Capitol Police probably should have arrested more people on the scene, uh, as they, as they do during, did during BLM protests, but I'm not gonna, uh, but the response we've seen in post you know, at least gives us the the the, the hope that they are taking uh, fi identifying violent perpetrators seriously. Um, I seriously condemn the the level of the clear hypocrisy in how they ad address these these factors. But perfectly, perfectly, uh, they 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 they've uh, um. But uh, yeah. Uh, so, but the reason I bring this up is, you know, there is another factor that to me is an enhancement, something far more aggravating and the reason I condemn that riot in its entirety. <laughs> because members of this riot, um, well, so, so, uh, first of all, these are the types of people, uh, they, they, this is the... This is the demographic of people who found uh, um, pro, who, 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 who were really up in arms about Kaepernick. Kaepernick, uh, um, there's, a, there's a great 
there's a podcast, Make No Law. Uh, it's a it's a podcast discussing First Amendment issues uh, um, with a with a former federal prosecutor and now federal defense attorney, um, uh, Ken White, known as uh, wh- who who bears the name Popat. Used to uh, used to run the Popat blog. Um, now runs the Popat Report on Substack. Um, uh, a couple places you can look into what he what he does, but uh, um, he's he's been a, he's long been a big First Amendment supporter. Um, uh, he uh, the Popat Signal was uh, hint was was a, a recurring segment in which he signal boosted looking for First Amendment lawyers looking to take on pro bono cases. Um, uh, for, for clear, uh, thuggery, uh, uh, in, in, in legal threats, uh, over First Amendment issues. And, uh, he did a whole episode on flag burning and the history of, uh, the law for flag burning in this country. The history for, for, for flag burning in this country, um, is kind of interesting uh, but the biggest cases were always ones where there was a very clear, where, where you could see a very clear message being sent and it wasn't, I hate America. Um, it was, America is not living up to the ideals this flag represents. Um, and therefore, what value does this flag hold? Um... It was it was speech. It was protest. It was it was. It's always very calculated. But uh, it's the same thing Kaepernick did when he sat, and people got a little up in arms, particularly members of the military. But there is a member, a former military member on the, in the Niners reserves, and he talked extensively with Kaepernick, and so Kaepernick chose to take what is a a a new respectful stance. By taking a knee, a sign, uh, taking a knee um, to a comrade, you know, in 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 in, in remembrance of a comrade is a, is a very, uh, you know, that's that's that strong message to 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 to, to take a knee in in in, in respect uh, of of fallen comrades. So Kaepernick, rather than sit on the bench, which people considered inappropriate, took a knee uh, at the, you know, at the advice of people in the military. And these people eviscerated him for it. So the then becomes, uh, why do I bring this up? Well... If you, uh, if you know all the things that happened to the Capitol, um, you'll know about the Confederate flag, and that bugs the hell out of me. But what really gets me just frothing with rage, if I think about it for too long, is the fact that these, uh, pro- these protesters went in with a bunch of Trump flags, and they did something that has very significant meaning in the arena of war. They lowered the American flag from the Capitol building. See, that was something you wanted to do uh, when you took over an enemy fort or other, uh, you know, or other outpost uh, early on. You know, you know it, as soon as you can get someone inside, their goal and they were free to do so, their goal should be to remove the flag. Because it's... That that demoralizes your... defend the, the defenders of that outpost. Because the lowering of the flag indicates, Kate's, that the, 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 the fortification has been taken. It has been conquered. It is no longer American territory. It is now contested territory. Um, you guys are familiar with this. If you've ever played, uh, um, any King of the Hill, um, type game match in a first-person shooter, um, 
you you've seen that you you've seen how this acts you know uh someone claims claims an area if someone from the enemy is in the area long enough uh it becomes contested and then if they can hold it exclusively um it becomes the other territory of the other side um the flag kind of represented that that kind of behavior uh, and in fact, throwing up that, getting your, getting the enemy flag up the flagpole, you know, getting your flag up the flagpole, even if you didn't properly, e even if the, the area was still contested, was important because it, it fed morale of, of soldiers fighting in what was a very bloody, uh, protracted conflict, uh, typically. Um... Uh, you know, it, it's not as com it's not in use as common every day, but the reason the Capitol building has so many flags on it is for this reason. Uh, the reason the, the Capitol building has so many flags on it is because an enemy force would have to take down all of them to have the same impact as, you know, most forts taking down one flag. And in fact, if you go to military bases, there tend to be a, several different flags uh, throughout the base. And there are a number of reasons, but one of them is is because there's always it's harder to take down the flag from the place. It is a psychological, visceral thing that we do, that we humans do. They took down the flag. They conquer. They they contested the capital. And then they rose a new flag in its place. They rose the flag of the conquering army of Trump. They succeeded. They had a successful insurrection. They won. Now, granted, uh, uh, granted, as the National Guard then came in and retook the Capitol building, uh, but the battle, they won the battle. I guess I, it's hyperbolic to say it's they want they, they had a successful insurrection. Uh, obviously, it died after the first. It it, it uh, I don't think it's dead. I mean, they're talking. Uh, you go online, and these people are are talking and coordinating to do these things. That's one of the reasons Parler got shut down, is because they were talking about doing it again, and there were messages of them talking about killing Pelosi. Like, I never ad BLM never advocated for the death of politicians. These people did. They went in there, sev some of them, the ones we need to arrest, were going in there with the outright attempt to kidnap, kill, uh, uh, to kidnap or kill members of the U.S. government. And if we can't, uh, and if we can't, you know, condemn that there's a there's a problem see by my standard by my standard um it they're the violence they committed um my I, like i don't think it's justified i i don't think it's fully justified but there is a there is a by my standards i can see you know I could see saying we 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 will uh, pardon the violence by and go after the people who who uh, who fomented the lies which led to that violence. Like by my by my standards, I could see uh, arresting a number of you know high profile high profile people in uh, in. Uh, the the ringleaders, so to speak, um, uh, the people who who pushed these conspiracies, pushed these lies, and 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 going light on the on the on on the general violence. Like if you if we know who 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 beat that police officer to death, they should probably still be charged. Um, but if, if, if all it was, was trespassing and criminal mischief, we, we could probably go easy on them and then just get the, um, 
and, and get the and get the people at the top. That's not the process we're doing, but under my st- my standards, I would accept that. Except for the fact that they literally messaged that they conquered the capital. And somehow that's that's just okay. Like these people who love the flag, it's fine. The people who love the police, that's fine. Be you know, Blue Lives Matter didn't doesn't care about the fact that now two officers are dead as a result of the injuries they sustained. Uh, so yeah. There is there is a difference. And the difference isn't in the level of violence. The difference isn't in the type of violence. The difference is in the fact that they took a secure area, conquered the capital, and produced a number of national security risks. BLM didn't do that. Flat out. There, there's, there is no comparison between BLM and that section of the crimes being committed by that riot. And, you know, I I hope there's the supporters of that riot realize that. Uh, I am I am very bolstered by the fact that the uh, the Joint Chiefs put out a a a message, uh, which made clear that they will not that that the mission, from a military perspective, uh, legally, is. Uh, to m- ensure that Joe Biden is inaugurated. And uh, they use the term will. Joe Biden will be inaugurated. That is that is a military... In, in military speak, that is... This isn't we will attempt. This isn't we will try. This is we will use the full force at our disposal to ensure that Joe Biden is uh, inaugurated and, uh, as they said, as confirmed by the states, as confirmed by the Electoral College, and as certified by Congress. This is what the democratic process has resulted in, and they will do everything in their power to ensure that that is what comes to pass. And given all the the chatter um, I've seen, I am I'm very uh, I I am I'm very what's the word I, I'm I'm it relieves me it it relieves me of a lot of anxiety. And if that causes you anxiety, well, maybe you should think about you know uh, what the law is. And why you are opposed to the constitutional process. <sighs> Take heart. Um, uh, we are seeing... Oh, that was the point I was going to make. You, the reason the military is doing this, there, there's all the constitutional bits. But you know what, what, what I bet why the military is doing this? Because everything I talked about, about flags, all those military guys know very well. Ugh. Sorry, I'm really trying to get rid of this light, but I, uh, that's a little better. Um, all of those military people know everything I talked about at the flag. The military has never been with Trump. He never got the support of, of the brass in the military. Um, from you know, saying that he supported torture and he was going to re- restart torture programs on the campaign trail uh, to repeated support for, um, for, a, for, uh, war, for, for war crime advocacy for war crimes over the, um, uh, over the years. Uh, and, uh, his, his, Willingness to, 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 to fight, but not in any strategic way. Uh, and then he probably lost a lot of the support of the military. Any support he might have had, he definitely lost. 
um, when he, uh, when it was revealed that he did nothing about, uh, a program to, to actively murder American soldiers, uh, through a bounty program funded by Russia. You know, that's kind of like, ooh, that, how, how, you know, people will say he supports the military because he gave them, he rebuilt the military because he gave them money. But the brass never really supported him because they knew the military was more than a budget. Uh, he stole from that budget reg for his wall. So, you know, there goes part of that. He, he, he has done everything wrong and the money he pumped into the military was all a bribe to cover up the fact that the military didn't like him. And that's coming home to roost because he doesn't know what he's talking about. So, yeah. Uh, take heart, guys. Um, we've been... I, I've, I've long known that he didn't have the support of the military. I've long argued he didn't have the support of the military. Now we have a clear message that he does not have the support of the top brass of the military. I can't imagine he has enough of the support. Uh, and moreover, uh, I can't imagine he has a lot of support amongst the, the guys, the, the individual rank and file nowadays, knowing that he doesn't care enough about them to stop them from getting killed. Uh... Uh, also, he's also arguing that military votes were bad. Um, because that's the majority of votes that have been previously counted after the election are military votes, uh, which tend to have several, which legally can, can take several days after the election to get in. Um, military, military votes. He, he was, he's actually calling to disenfranchise the entire, eh, a, a large chunk of the military vote. So... He doesn't have the support. It's not going to happen. Uh, and we now know that people will be standing by. We will have the force necessary to prevent that from happening again prior to Joe Biden uh, being inaugurated. And uh, to that I take heart. As should anyone watching this video. Uh, so, uh, until next time.